Welcome to this short video on our latest analytics workbook brought to you by the team at Maiden. Our analytics service helps IAPTIS users to unlock the information in your datasets and reveal valuable insights. In this video, we will walk you through how to use the questionnaires workbook, which has been designed to provide information on questionnaires submitted to IAPTIS. It is currently limited to the questionnaires or questions within questionnaires which have a SNOMED code attached to them, i.e. it is only those which could be submitted as part of the Talking Therapies or MHS datasets in the 606 or 607 tables. To access workbooks in IAPTIS, navigate to Reports and Analysis and then to the Dashboards tab. You will see a list of all the workbooks available to your service. If you do not see the Dashboards tab, please talk to your super user and ask them to make dashboards available to you. As with all workbooks, Questionnaires opens with a welcome cover page to navigate through the different dashboards. In this case, we have Status, IAPT Recovery and WSAS. At the top right, there is a dataset version drop-down where you can select which dataset version you'd like to look at. If you have more than one dataset available to you, the selection will be the default we have for your service, which will affect all workbooks. If you'd like a different default, please contact your account manager via a support log and we'll make the necessary changes. Above the title, there may on occasion be some orange text, which we use to highlight information to you. For example, this is a beta workbook, or this workbook is missing certain data we want to make you aware of, or highlighting that this is a workbook that's going to be removed at some point. The status page provides a list of all the dashboards in the workbook and whether there are any issues with it, rather than issues affecting the whole workbook, which will be highlighted on the cover. The status page holds information that affects a particular dashboard within the workbook. When you first open the IAPT recovery dashboard, there may not be any patients selected. This would be indicated by brackets around the patient ID in the drop-down. To select a patient, either choose to look at all referrals or referrals received, referrals ended, or open referrals within a particular period. The list of patient IDs will update depending upon your selection. Click on the patient ID you'd like to view and press the play button. This loads the information for your selected patient. You can choose the filter options available in order to restrict the list of patients selected. To remove all the filters, press the Reset Filters icon. Once your patient has been selected and loaded, the top left box so shows all the referrals for that patient. The referral order number, the referral date, the discharge date, the referral team, service team, allocated care professional, referral duration in days, and the count of treatment appointments. Please remember that not all referrals for a patient may be loaded into this area. For this patient, the first referral we have is number three. This is because we have applied a date restriction on the overnight extracts so that we are not displaying too much historical data, which will slow down your dashboards. The cutoff date for your service is shown on the information button. Should you wish to adjust this date, please contact your account manager via a support log. The charts load with all the scores for that patient loaded. There is a chart for PHQ-9, for GAD-7, and if applicable, for any ADSMs collected. Here, we have two ADSMs. You can use the drop-down or the arrow to move between the different ADSM scores.
Underneath each of the charts is a series of dots, which represents any contacts with the colour showing the attendance. The rings represent the scores collected, so you can see when scores are collected as part of a contact, or if the ring isn't around a dot, when a score is collected outside a contact. The green and red dotted vertical lines represent the referral start and end dates. In order to see recovery tax for a referral, please select a referral from the list. We can see that for this referral, number five, for this patient, they had a presenting complaint of F41.0, panic disorder, and the ADSM appropriate for this presenting complaint is panic disorder. On this ADSM, the patient was at case nurse. The ADSM used to calculate the recovery was also panic disorder, indicating that the appropriate ADSM was used for the patient's presenting complaint. They are showing as having completed treatment, been at initial case nurse, and at recovery, reliable improvement, and therefore showing reliable recovery. However, if we select an alternative referral, we can see that this one, there is no presenting complaint, so the ADSM defaults to GAD, and we have not completed treatment, and we cannot calculate recovery and reliable change. You may on occasion see a message such as this one, no recovery calculations were carried out on this referral, please select an alternative referral or patient from above. So in this case, you actually need to select a referral before we can provide information on referral recovery. Moving to the WSAS dashboard, if you have moved to this dashboard via the IAPT recovery dashboard, the patient previously selected will be displayed. You have the same filters available to select a patient, but rather than having a box showing each of the referrals, you have a drop-down box which shows the referral start dates for each referral associated with that patient. There are five charts for WSAS work, private leisure activities, relationships, home management, social leisure activities, and a total. Like the previous dashboards, you have a chart showing the score, and then one showing the contacts with attendance and a ring identifying when scores are collected. The work chart can have a value of nine, which is above the maximum, which means not available. This value is not included in the total score, and as it is displayed on the chart, we do not show a trend line, which would be skewed by these values. Finally, please remember the blue buttons at the top right of the dashboards are here to help you. Here we have an information button, a demo video button and a help guide button to bring up an overlay of useful hints. The information button will identify any filters which have been applied behind the scenes that you don't have access to or any specific calculations and definitions. You will be able to access this video from the demo video button. Finally, should you wish to refer back to any of these tips, you can find a summary of this information in the help guide built into each dashboard. Simply toggle on and off the blue help guide button on the top right corner to see an overlay of helpful prompts. We are always looking for new ways to support your work, reduce the burden of administration and deliver the best care to patients. If there are any new features you'd like to see added to this or any other workbook, please contact us via support logs or IAPTIS Innovations and we'd be more than happy to talk through the details with you. Thank you.